So welcome. Um, this is an entry level class, but of course it is what you want it to be. I'll cue some higher things. Kristen seems to be raising the bar a little bit on the group. So shine if you want to, hang back if you want to. Practice your self-love so you don't hurt yourself. Um, if you don't know what, what I'm, or if you can't hear me, let me know. But if you don't know what's going on, look to someone around you. It's not like you're comparing to them, but you might see what they're doing if you can't hear me. <clears throat> Louder, Will? All right. So I got my peeps at home. Welcome, everybody. So did you all say hello to each other? That's how we start, yeah. Maybe a face you haven't seen before. <clears throat> so you've got that beautiful view. We'll have some of that energy come in here. I wanna start the class with an energy visualization, sort of a, a, a body awareness type thing. So find a comfortable seat. You can be on your knees, easy seated pose. If you wanna leg out or something, just find a way to be comfortable. Sit up nice and straight, <clears throat> nice and tall, shoulders down your back. Hands on your lap, on your knees, whatever feels comfortable, close your eyes and just start becoming aware of what's around you and the energy around you. Maybe it's the sun, maybe it's a breeze, maybe it's the grass that's very much wet and alive. Maybe it's uh, your own heart, your own energy. And think about your crown chakra, it's right at the top of your head. And let's grab our left hand and tap the top of your head with your left hand, right in the middle, right at the crown there, and liven up that crown chakra because we're gonna pull some energy in through our crown chakra here in a minute. Just want you to have a tactile feeling of that. And then you can put your hand back where it was, relax. With your eyes closed, think about the energy of the sky, the cosmos, your forefathers, wherever your energy is coming from, the people around you, wherever that's coming from today, and choose a color for that energy. Pick a color from the rainbow. So if you've forgotten, that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or violet. Colors of nature, pure natural colors of nature. So find that color. And imagine you've got like a fog of energy at the top of your head and you're just pulling it in through this funnel, through your crown chakra. And we're just gonna slowly fill the body with that color, it's very light, very airy. Just pull it into your head, pull it into your skull, maybe down into your throat area. It's spinning softly. Remember, this is energy. It's your prana. Pull in some more, there's an infinite supply. Pull in some more down into your heart space, your chest, and send some down your right arm the upper arm, the forearm, into your hand, your fingertips. You're still filling up and go the other arm, the upper arm, the forearm, the fingertips. Maybe you're starting to feel light. Maybe your hands, your chest, your head feels light as this energy is filling up. And then bring some down into your chest, filling up your abdomen, surrounding your organs, it's spinning full of energy movement, internal visualization. And then send it down one leg, all the way down to your toes. Maybe you feel a little bit lighter in that leg now. And then send the energy down the other leg, all the way down to the toes. More is just pouring in the crown of your head. And sit there for a moment and just visualize and imagine what that energy is about, how you're going to use it for your class. Now slowly, slowly flutter your eyes open. Bring your hands down to your root chakra. Grab some of that energy you just created and send it up. With an inhale, looking up to the cosmos, let it go. Arms out to the side, dropping your head down. Grab some more. This is where we have community and we share. Throw it out to the cosmos. Exhale your hands down. Inhale some of that energy that's just yours. Pass it along. 
Inhale up and exhale down. Next time you inhale your hands up, let's leave them up. Spread your uh, hands a little bit wide like your shoulders, sitting up nice and straight. Antennas, as Kristen would say, antennas to the sky. Maybe look up. You're still full of that energy. Interlace the fingers and invert your palms up to the sky. So now imagine a box, leave your hands there. Imagine this box, okay? So we're inverting our hands. We're gonna trace that box. So pull off to the right. We're pulling with the right hand and then down the side of that box. We're gonna go behind the head if you can't. Ah, there you go. Shoulders going across, up the other side to the corner. You get my drift here. Those with tight shoulders, you know it now. Still trying to sit up straight if we can. You know, this is a range of motion for you. We all have our own vessel and no one else has it. So it is what it is. We're trying to go to the very perimeter of that box. Next time your hands are above your head, drop them down in front of you, roll back on your tail. Make a nice C, so you pull the belly in, push the palms towards me. Very good. Sit back up. Now look at which index finger is leading and switch. The weird way. There you go. It's weird, right? We're going to go the other direction. Equal time, right? So very slow. Try to get to the corners of that box. Palms up. You got it. One more nice full square. The next time your hands are up to the sky, inverted palm up, we'll tip back, roll back on that tail again, pull the belly in round, push your palms forward. You got it, and sitting up. Let's release. Got some energy in there now? Let's just pull our shoulders up to our hairs and drop. One more time. Up, nice and tight, nice and high, no neck. Drop. Third time. And drop. Beautiful. Inhale up. Arms a little bit wider than the shoulders. I should say we're going to go into Kalabata breathing in a minute. And I think you guys are all pretty much familiar. If you're not familiar, Kalabata is pulling the belly button in sharply, pulls the diaphragm up, which pushes the air out. And then when you release it, the diaphragm drops, air gets sucked in. So it's like, right? Everyone's familiar? Hang on to that. We'll be in there in a minute. So let's take the right hand, grab the side of the head and stretch the neck to the side. Left shoulder is dropped. Heart is open. This is your heart side. Nice soft stretch to the side neck. And let's turn that left palm down and like you're scraping your fingers on a wall that's not there. Nice and strong, very slowly. And when your fingertips grace the earth, just barely touch the earth. Let's release the head. Other hand, palm down, sitting up nice and straight. Looking good. And from here, let's do 40 rounds of Kalabata at your own pace. Round 40, let's do five, four, three, two, one. Retention breath, suck all the breath up. Thumbs are touching. Pull the abdomen up, in, a little bit more. 
like you have a straw. Swallow. Maybe you look up. Big stretch up. A little bit longer, a little more air. And with control, hands in prayer position, gently exhale. Hands at the heart, close your eyes. Check out that energy. Breathe normally. Let's inhale our arms out to the side, looking up. Other side. So our hands are a little bit wider than the shoulders. Go ahead and grab with the right hand or left hand, sorry. Shoulders are down, sitting up straight, smiling. Mm -hmm. Play with the neck, keeping it really nice and soft. And let's turn that palm down on the other side with energy, stretching out. Nice and slow. Is that left shoulder still dropped? It's not riding up. Fingertips barely on the earth will release the left hand. Head comes up. Another round of Kalabata. Ready? Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up, retention breath, big deep breath. A little bit more. Swallow, pull the abdomen in nice and high up in the rib cage. A little bit more air. Swallow, look up if you like. Remember that color you pulled in, all that energy. Gently hands at your heart. Exhale. Close your eyes. Take a moment. Check out your pulse. Maybe it's increased. Maybe you feel the energy passing from fingertips from one hand to the other. And let's release our hands, switch legs in front. Inhale up, look up. Let's drop that right hand behind you on the earth. Left hand comes across and grabs your knee. Sitting up nice and straight. So that hand behind you is really close to your back so you can push your back flat, twisting off to the left or to the right rather. That means the chin is all the way that way. Maybe your eyes go to the corner of the socket. Inhale. So leaving that right hand where it is, take your left hand up to the sky, circle it back, place it behind your other hip, arch your back, open your heart and your throat chakra, pushing your front side of the body towards the front of the mat. Now release the right hand, swing it around to your knee, twist the other way. Chin follows to the left. Eyes go to the corner of the socket. Everybody at home looking good. Nice straight flat back, sitting up nice and straight. So I had a student ask me recently about flat back because they didn't think they had a flat back. And we just kind of use that term to talk about extension. Not everyone is going to have a 
big arch or the same arch. And it certainly is not flat because our spine does curve naturally. So just think of extending it as far as you can. Up with the left, uh, right hand goes up to the sky. Once again, place it, arch your back, chest forward, chin up, and release the left hand. So adding on here, take that right hand, point it back, and the back of the hand a little bit more towards the back if you can. You got it. Now bring it up to the sky, grab your knee, both knees now, arch forward. Opposite stretch for the back, a nice flexation of the spine. Now you got to think here a little bit because our arms are all crisscrossed. So we're going to take, and I got to <laughs> do it opposite. So let's see, release your left hand and reach to the back. Back side of your hand is going further back. You got it. Now take that left hand to the sky, cross over, bow forward round, tuck. Open the back side of the body. Releasing the right hand, sitting up straight. Hand goes up to the sky, crossing over, round. Releasing the left hand. Just getting a little bit more speed here. Hand up to the sky, round. Keep going, releasing the right. Up to the sky, cross over. Releasing the left. Up to the sky, cross over. You've got it. One more round. Up to the sky, cross over. Left hand. Up to the sky, cross over. And let's release both hands and just bring them forward on your mat. Just fall forward. Nice and relaxed. Maybe you rock a little bit side to side. Shake your head. Yes and no. Shimmy the shoulders. Let's come up on our spider fingers. Now it's active, arms are straight. Push those fingertips into the earth and sink your hips back. Some room in the kidneys, make some space. And then we'll march off to the right side. Bring your belly on your thigh. Maybe that left hand goes a little further than you think. Dropping the left shoulder, lifting the right. Marching back to the center and off to the other side. Once again here, maybe the right hand goes a little bit further than you think, dropping that right shoulder, lifting the left shoulder, squaring off over the thigh. Marching back to the center, walking your hands up. Let's inhale our arms out to the side, look up. Hands down the heart line, close your eyes, sitting up straight and breathe. Notices, notice the changes in the body. Let's inhale our hands up, looking up to the sky, dropping the right hand down. And we'll just get a little side stretch here. You can look up under the arm, up at the sky. Inhale up, off to the other side. Nice open side body. Very good, inhale up. And this time follow down with that left hand, touch the earth. And then on the inhale, open up to the sky. On the exhale, drop that left shoulder. So you're turning to the earth. And inhale, open to the sky. So we're twisting the spine, down and up. 
Turn to the earth when you're down. Inhale, opening the side. This is your heart side. Beautiful. Next time that hand is up in the air, we'll flip off to the other side. Set yourself, drop that left, uh, right hand to the earth and the right shoulder, and then inhale up, opening, looking up. Turn to that thigh. You got it. Inhale up. Turning to the earth. One more time, make a nice big circle and incorporate your breath and energy. And when that right hand is up to the sky, let's bring the whole body up. Hands down the heart line. And let's bring our knees up, extending the legs in front of us. Pull your flesh behind you. Sitting up nice and straight. Let's see what our forward fold is like this morning. Exhale. And if your knees bend, that's great. That's fine. The fold of the witness. Who's witnessing tight hamstrings, <laughs> tight calves? Very good. Let's come back sitting up. Hands by your hips. Two hand prints back. Roll back on your tail. Flex your toes. All of them. All those, even those two little ones on each foot. They don't listen. And point. Like really trying to get your toes to touch the mat. Really strong, really strong. And flex. And point. So see if you can now only flex your toes back. So the balls of your feet are still really pushing. This is the Barbie foot, that poor girl. Permanent plastic. Yeah, or if you wear high heels ever, if you're feeling like you're putting all your weight on the balls of your feet. Now flex foot, you got it. One more time, let's point totally, toes everything, push into the earth, reverse plank, hips high. If your neck is okay, go ahead and drop your head back, shake, yes and no. Drop your seat down gently, flex the feet. One more time, let's point, hips up. Put all the strength in your left foot and see if you can raise your right foot off the earth. Just an inch or two or three or a foot, I don't care. Hips high, hips high. Right foot down, left foot up. Yeah, 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 maybe. Laugh about it, <laughs> drop your seat. Let's inhale up, fall forward, reverse. Nice. Let's come back to seating up, bend your feet. Bend your knees, feet on the earth, tabletop. Kind of similar. And let's shoot that right leg up to the sky. Circling the ankle one way, the other, other leg. You got it. Foot down, seat down. There you go. Extending the legs out. Actually, let's leave them up. Do some wipering here. So separate your feet. Maybe you feel your pinky toes on the grass. We'll just drop down. Back and forth. And maybe your, your chin goes opposite your knees. Kind of dramatic. There you go. Cover model here. <laughs> Next time your knees are to the right, let's leave them to the right and come up sitting up, putting that left foot back. So we're really opening that front side body and rock and roll your hip. So you're really pushing that left knee into the earth so that you can really push that hip up. You got it. Now we'll leave that hip extended, reach with that left hand to the back, nice and strong. So let's bow down and touch that hand to the earth. Extend long, nice and long.
Now let's extend that right left leg rather, coming up on your front shin and arch your back maybe, reaching to the sky. Beautiful. And gently with the seat down. Swish off to the other side. Uh, is that where we ta-da? Uh-oh. Yeah. I better, how do we do that? Should we just say ta-da, ta-da? <laughs> I'm mixing up positions here, uh-oh. All right, off to the other side. Jeez, I almost got fired for that, didn't I? Right knee back, right leg back. It's what? I know, but we got some habit here. This is a long time family on this Sunday morning class. All right, right hand goes to the back. Oh wait, we gotta do some hip rock and roll first. Yeah, you can't dance on one side of the body only, right? You can, but you look like, who was that, Elaine on Seinfeld, someone like that? All right, now push that knee into the earth, keep the hip forward and reach back. A nice twist that really releases the spine, releases the back. Everybody's doing good at home. Yes, grab the furniture. And let's bring that hand down to the earth. Keep that twist happy. Yes, stretching that low back. Coming back up, kick that long leg a little bit longer, rising up on your shin. Arching the back, pelvis forward, opening the visceral side of the body, all the visceral organs exposed. And sit the seat down with control. Ta-da! That was a little better. Let's bring our knees back up for boat. So if you've got a towel or shoes or something you wanna kind of prop behind you, that might help. Maybe you don't need that. Lots of levels here. So you can sit back on your tail just a little bit, settle into the grass, one foot at a time or both feet, hands behind the knees, eyes, maybe no hands, it's up to you. Extend one leg or the other, both legs, no hands. This is yogi choice. If your legs shake like mine, my nerves never like this posture. So I just shake. Feels good, hands up, touch the toes. Two, three, ah, forward fold. Don't worry, you know we'll do it again. So you can get it, you get it going this next time. And maybe you find a new level, maybe you don't. Let's try it again. If you're used to holding your legs and just putting your hands out in the first position here, and that's a big deal, go for it. Maybe you wanna play with straightening your legs. You put the hands back, make it a little bit easier. Try and do that Barbie foot. Legs are straight and strong. Hands up. One more time, try. Two, three, fall forward. Ay, ay, ay. Let's come back sitting up. Uh, take the right foot, sole in, inside of the foot. Left foot is going to be straight on the mat, nice and flexed. Left leg. Sitting up nice and straight, single legged forward fold. So just dive forward, falling over that front leg, wherever you're laying. Hands land on the mat, on your shin, on your ankle. If you're down to your toes, that's great. If you've got short legs like me and long arms, it looks impressive, but again, it's just your body. Long legged tall people don't often get to their feet unless you're super flexible. And breathe, just let it go. Exhale, opening up the back. That foot's flexed, right? That long leg? Ah, that's a little different. Toes to the sky. Exhale, just gently. And then let's walk our hands up, sitting up. Right hand up to the sky, right behind the hips, left hand on the knee, a little bit of a twist.
and release. We'll do it again, round two. If that was enough for you and that was great, if you want something a little deeper, maybe you can put your ankle on your, just above your knee. If you're working towards half lotus or full lotus, maybe the top of your foot comes up to your hip crease or as high as you can pull. Flexed foot, you can pull that up too. You wanna to point and to try to get the top. What's happening is your knee, your hip's gonna get a different extension a different position so find the spot that's happy for you and then it will get better when you fall forward trust me <laughs> exhale forward ah that's it and again just let your hands fall where they are best to have something tactile with your hands rather than sort of hanging there because you relax more when your hands are down or touching something and when you relax and let go is when your muscles let go. And that extended leg's foot is flexed. And let's walk our hands up, bringing that foot over to the other side, wherever it was, try and get our toes on the earth. Left hand grabs that knee, pulls across, right hand by your hip again twisting to the back but now we're really pulling that knee in so you can get a stretch on the right glute the right side hip and release other sides so we'll pull in the left foot sole of the foot right against the thigh or the inner thigh. Sitting up nice and straight, pull your flesh behind you. Let's see with this forward fold, flex foot, right? Dive forward, wherever you land. Wherever your hands land, flexed foot, strong, long leg. And that left knee just falls open to the side. And breathe. Exhale a big breath and just let go. Let's walk the hands up. Right hand, left hand at your hip, right hand on the knee, open. That's just a little bit to release the back here. Chin follows. And come back forward once again. Now you can do whatever. Maybe this hip is a little looser or this knee is a little looser. Foot on top of the thigh, top of the foot up in the hip crease, whatever feels good. And it may not be the same as the other side either, right? Reaching up, nice and tall, and dive forward. Land where you land. Hands to be touching something so that you have some stability so you can let go. And that extended leg's foot is flexed straight up to the sky. Couple more breaths, nice big exhales. And gently walk the hands up. Let's keep sliding that foot across. If it wasn't, lop it on the other side there. Left hand at your hips, right arm, grab that knee and pull the knee into your chest. Energy in that long leg. You got it, let's release. Cross your legs, slide over. Let's find a child's pose. Big toes touching, knees nice and wide, and just sink your hips back. 
drop your belly and chest down to the earth. Arms forward or wrap them by your side, whatever feels good for you. Make some contact with the earth. If your forehead's not quite down, you can stack your fists to try and make that contact to the earth, the third eye. If your forehead is on the earth, maybe you would just roll your forehead a little bit, massage that third eye. Let's inhale up to all fours. So it's not a class without cat and cow, right? Palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tops of the feet down. Inhale, drop the belly, chin and chest up, tail up, exhale, round push the earth away, tuck it all up. Inhale, drop the belly, push the earth away, chin and tail up, exhale round. Inhale, drop the belly, chin and chest. You got it, exhale round. Inhale one more time. And let's go to flat back. Let's shake our tail a little bit, loosen up. With an inhale, the right hand up to the sky. We're gonna exhale and bring the back of the hand to the earth and sweep it right behind that wrist and tap that shoulder on the earth. But then we're gonna inhale up again. Inhale up, inhale up. Yeah, yeah, I know you all wanna stay down there. Exhale down. One more time, inhale up. We are loosening up the back here. All right, let's stay down. Right shoulder stays to the earth. Left hand has options here. You can just go right up on your fingertips there with your elbow straight up to the sky. Maybe you wanna walk that left hand to the top of your mat, long and straight, a long side body stretch. Maybe that left hand goes up to the sky and wraps behind your back, a hand on the sacrum, or you wrap around and grab that thigh or your pockets. Or you move around a little bit to whatever feels good and try a couple of different positions. It's a great way to loosen up the shoulder, open up the shoulder. You're having a little bit of a stressful day. And if you put stress between your shoulder blades or in your neck, this could be a great way to release it. If you want to get really sassy, maybe you extend that left leg straight back, curl the toes under like a half plank sort of position. No prize for any of that. Have it up in the air or the toes on the earth, whatever feels good. And of course that means if your shoulder can handle that weight. So if your leg's flying around, let's pull the knee back down where it was. Plant that left hand right in front of your face, push yourself up. Sit back to a quick child's pose, square off the shoulders, release the back again and back up to all fours. Left hand up to the sky. And now we come down behind the wrist here. Tap the shoulder and then inhale up. Tap the shoulder down to the earth. Inhale up one last time. And now we'll stay down that left shoulder on the earth. Right hand up on fingertips, right in front of your face with the elbow straight up to the sky or crawl that hand to the top of the mat nice and long, or sweep the hand up, creating more of a twist. You could leave the hand in the air, you can wrap it, whatever feels good. And this side may be different than the other. And if you wanna play with that right foot, extending it, raising it in the air, putting it on the earth, Tests your balance. Everything on the earth is your support, right? I'm seeing legs in the air at home. <laughs> nice job, everybody. And let's take that right hand, or which hand is it? Yeah, the right hand right in front of your face. Push yourself up. 
a little child's pose. Let's put our knees close together this time. Sink the hips back, dropping the belly right on the thighs. and inhaling up to all fours, separating the knees. So we're back in our tabletop position. We'll do some spinal balance here and then build on from there. So let me uh, go sideways here. So let's take the right hand forward like you're shaking someone's hand, palm to the midline, kicking the left foot back, spinal balance. Pull up the belly, nice and strong. And let's reverse. Other side, left hand forward, flex foot, kicking that heel back, engaging the glute. And release. Back to the other side, building on a little bit here. So we go into our spinal balance and then curl your knee or elbow to knee. And then when you extend, the hand goes to the side. Curl elbow knee and the hand goes back. Elbow to knee, hand out to the side. Elbow to knee, hand forward. And maybe you bend the leg here and you reach back and grab the ankle, foot, toes, no prize for this. But if you wanna fly a little. And with control, always, the posture's not over, release. Other side, left hand and right foot back. Remember, everything on the earth is your base of support. And we'll exhale round, elbow to knee. Extend the hand out to the side. Exhale round. Hand goes back. Exhale round. Hand to the side. Exhale round. Knee to elbow. Hand forward. Plant yourself if you wish to Try and find that ankle. And with control, we release. Let's come up to standing on our knees. Curl the toes under in the back. Camel. So have your hands on your hips, kind of like you're in your jeans pockets. So the heels of the hands are right at the small of your back. Elbows close, chest open pelvis forward, look up and just lean back. If your neck at all hurts, just tuck your chin down to your clavicles. And with control release, we'll do that again. If you wanna go a little further, as you push your pelvis forward, your elbows back, maybe you reach down and play with touching one heel, maybe not. Again, there's no prize for that. If you're at your extension, you're getting the most you can out of the posture, no matter what. And with control, if your hands are at your heels, bring them up to your waist, help yourself come forward very gently round the back, drop the tops of the feet down, child's pose, release the back. Beautiful. Let's inhale up to all fours. We'll go into gate pose. So we're come to standing on our knees and we'll take our right foot up to the side. Feel the grass. So toes are pulled in and heels kicked out. So instead of toes out, pull your toes in. It really internally rotates that thigh, pelvis forward and reach up to the sky. Dropping the hand down to the leg. Maybe you look at that long leg. Remember, pelvis forward. Inhale up, we'll bring that left hand to the earth. Right hand over the head. Long side body. All the way from your fingertips to the outside edge of that foot. 
nice and strong. Inhale up like a helium balloon up, off to the other side. Inhale up. One more time up. So now we'll come down to the earth, plant your whole hand if you're on your fingertips. See if you can lift that leg up. Why is that so hard? Flexed foot helps. Now bend the knee, slide your hand down the shin. See if you can grab that ankle, kick back, drop that right shoulder blade back on your back, open your chest, smile about it, pretend it's really fun and it feels so good. So now we're gonna release the foot, but it's not gonna go down to the earth, okay? Right hand to the earth, march your hands forward. So that leg is behind you. Let's keep it crossing over, toes curled under, toes to the earth. Look over that left shoulder. See if you can see that foot of yours. Strong, straight leg, pushing the heel back, toes on the earth. You got it. And from here, just bend that right knee, drop it on the earth. So it's kind of on the other side. Yeah, just leave it crossed, top of the foot down. There you go. And sink your hips back between your ankles. A great diagonal stretch. If you're getting back on airplanes these days, this is a great way to Loosen up the hips after sitting for a long time. Inhale forward, unwind those legs up on your knees, other side. Kicking the left foot out, toes pull in, outside edge of the foot down. So you're imagining you're lifting up that arch of your foot. Strong straight leg, reaching up to the sky. Pelvis forward, right? trying not to do this. We're trying to be nice and high and proud and strong. Left hand down. Look up under your arm, maybe. Inhale up to the earth. Long stretch on that side. Rib cage, waist. You got it, inhale up. Back to the earth. Inhale up. Last time, make it matter. And down to the earth, so the whole hand is on the earth. Maybe we can lift that left foot up off the earth. Maybe, why is that so hard? That's your gluteus medius, you knew that. You didn't know you had one. Here's what it's doing. Bend the knee, can you grab your ankle? Drop that shoulder blade back, arch, look up, kick back, pull. Beautiful. So now remember, we're gonna leave that leg in the air, but the hand is gonna to come to the earth. Walk it forward. Keep swinging that long leg behind you, cross it over, toes curled under, strong straight leg, look over the right shoulder back at that heel. Feel that stretch in the left waist. Shorten that right rib cage so you can really see that foot of yours. You got it. So leaving the foot here, just bend that knee and drop it down. Top of the foot down. Separate your ankles and just sit back between your ankles, reaching forward. Let's inhale forward, unwind, cat and cow maybe, square things off. And let's go into a little bit of a lunge sequence in here. Let's curl the toes under, step back with the right foot, stepping back with the left to our plank, strong arms, top of a push-up. And with an exhale, hips go up to our down dog. And feel free to walk the dog. Bending one leg or the other.
and let's straighten both legs. Inhale up on the balls of your feet. Really stretch the arch of those feet. Kneecaps are locked, thighs are locked. Push the earth away and then exhale the heels down. One more time, heels up, nice and high. Engage the thighs, kneecaps. Exhale the heels down. Let's bring that right leg up off the earth. Look between your hands and plop that foot between your hands. And if you don't get it there, you drop the back knee. Well, we're gonna do that anyway. Just grab the darn thing, drag it up there. And now you're in a lunge. So your knee and your ankle are lined up. And then maybe you draw that left knee back. So you've got a really nice open front on the left side. And with an exhale, hips back, bow down over your front leg. Inhale forward, chin and chest up. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So let's inhale forward here. Can you bring your hands up to your knees? So high rollers, if you wanna play around, you can do this whole neck sequence in a lunge. It's up to you. I'll be teaching it from down here. Take that left hand up to the sky, turning to the back of the mat. So now you're turning to the side, looking to the side. Right hand goes forward. Can you look back at your back hand? Hips sink forward, nice and strong. Maybe you can tip back and your left hand might touch your left calf or your left shin or your left something. Maybe, maybe not. Back to level. Let's bring that left hand up to the sky. We're turning forward again, hand to hand. Interlace your fingers, point the index. Bring the hands up to the sky hips forward, and maybe a little arch. And when we release both hands to the inside of that front foot, heel toe that front foot to the right a little bit. We'll come down to our lizard. So that maybe means this is your lizard. Maybe your lizard's forearms. Maybe your lizard is lower. Find that spot that works for you. Maybe one elbow goes down and not the other. But the idea of getting your body on the inside of that thigh, both hands on the inside. There you go, Keith. If you want to take that right hand on your right knee and push your knee to the side, roll off on the outside blade of your foot, you can do that opens up a little differently. And no matter where you are, let's release that knee. If it's there, both hands go in front of you, curl the back toes, raise the knee off, and somehow we're gonna get back to a plank. Hips come up a little bit, step back to your high plank. You got it, strong. Bear your own weight so you can help others, right? Exhale the hips up to down dog. Maybe you walk the dog a little, loosen up the legs and the hips, and then we'll inhale our left leg up. Look between the hands, swing it forward. Drop the back knee, make sure your knee and ankle are lined up. Once they're lined up, crawl that right knee back. So you're nice and long, beautiful. Exhale your hips back, bowing forward, pointing your toes. Inhale forward, chin and chest up. All we're doing is straightening and bending that knee. You got it. You can do this at home. Put the iPad in front of you and just read your morning crap doing this. Next time your knee is bent and you're forward, 
Let's bring the hands up to the knee. Once again, if you're level two, three folks and you wanna like make it happen, you can raise your knee. Right hand up and bring it to the back. Left hand forward. So you're turning to the side. Nice and strong. Are you looking back at that back hand? Yeah. Maybe you tip back and you touch that back leg. Coming back to level, right hand follows up to the sky, turning your body forward, interlace your fingers, point your index, hands up to the sky, and maybe you arch back just a little. And with control, release the hands on the inside of that front foot. If your knee is up, go ahead and drop the knee, top of the foot down, heel toe that front foot a little to the side so you got room for your body and come on down to your lizard on this side. And it could very well be very different. Our hips are not created equal. Find your lizard over here. Once again, if you wanna take your left hand up to your left knee, you don't have to, but you just will get a little bit different opening of the hip, push that knee to the side, roll your foot open so the outside blade of the foot is on the earth. Looking good at home. We got our lizards in the house. And let's release from that. Coming up on your hands, curl the back toes under, bring that knee off the earth. Hips come up a little so you can step back to your plank. Nice strong plank. Let's come down to our forearms from here. Oh, here's where we start moaning. Now can we come back up to our plank? Oh, now can we go back to our forearms? All right, we'll stay here. So you can stay in your forearm plank if you've never done a dolphin before. Here's your chance. Palms come together and all you do is walk your feet towards you as far as you like, or you stay in plank. This is a beautiful shoulder opener. Both our shoulders strengthening. If you want to come out of your dolphin, just walk your feet back down. So we're plank. And then just drop down the front side of your body. Gentlemen, make sure your furniture's downstairs. We're going to be on the front here for a little while. Sphinx. Elbows are right under the shoulders. So a lot of people are usually wider than right under the shoulders. And you can tell by seeing if the palm of your hand, if you can get your elbow in the palm of your hand. If you can't, you're a little wide. And the reason you wanna come closer is because you're gonna get more of that passive extension. So you're isolating your hands down, isometrically pulling your chest forward and your elbows back, nice and high. Chin up to the right, look back at that ankle. Chin up high to the left. Chin up high to the right one more time. Chin up high to the left. And let's come to the center. Stack your hands, turn one of your cheeks to the earth, take a moment, shake your hips side to side a little bit, release your low back just a little bit.
And let's come back up to our Sphinx. We'll take our right hand and cross it across the body. Bend your left knee, reach back and grab that foot. And put your weight to the left side. So we don't, we don't wanna like roll up, put the weight on that left hip we're trying to stretch and pull the heel down to your glute. Rolling off to the left, remember, weight, there you go. You feel the difference when you, is that good or bad? <laughs> I'm seeing faces, uh-oh, <laughs> I haven't done this before. Now we're gonna ex exhale and kick back. So kick your foot back. Maybe you're gonna push into that front arm a little bit and feel that arch in your back. And then exhale down, keep that weight to the left. Exhale, kick back and down. And let's last time up and down. Release, switch arms, switch legs, bending the right. Find that right leg, roll your weight to the right onto that front thigh, front hip. So now we're using our arm strength to pull the foot down. And now we're using our leg strength to kick back. Arm strength to pull down. Leg strength to kick back. One more time, exhale. Inhale up. And release, stack your hands, turn your other cheek to the earth, shake your hips side to side. Release the back, release your low back. So now we'll come up. You can continue that doing half bow, half bow. I'm gonna show the full bow. So if you have full bow in your practice, let's full bow together. Otherwise you'll just do one at a time again. If you're in full bow, find both of those feet. Inhale up, shoulders up, knees up. Ah, beautiful, nice class. We got a boat in the desert, great idea. And release, but not your feet. Just come down. We're gonna try it one more time. Inhale up. And those of you who wanna be in kindergarten, maybe you roll off to the left. It's not easy. You gotta get your momentum going, roll off to the right. Laugh about it. <laughs> come back to center, release your feet. Everybody hands under the shoulders. A very slow, pull the belly in round, child's pose. Release that low back. That was a lot of back work. Ah, that feels good. Let's inhale forward. Curl the toes under to your plank. Raise your hips up to down dog. Inhaling that right leg up. Let's bend the knee and open the hips to the side. Fire hydrant, nice and strong. Squaring the hips back, right leg down, left leg up. Fire hydrant, other side. And release. Can you walk your hands back to your feet? Forward fold. Cross your arms, just hang there. Feet are hip, hip width distance apart. And just hang. If your knees are bent, that's great. Straight is fine. Just letting the own weight of your body open your backside. Now everyone bend your knees, release your hands and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Come to standing, let's bring our feet together. Mountain pose. Pelvis forward, shoulder blades back. Breathe naturally, summon up some of that energy we had at the beginning of class.
See where you hold your weight on your feet. Is it back, forward, side to side? See if you can find it right in the center of the square that your corners of your feet make. And from here, we're gonna go into tree. So let's plant our right foot, take our left hip knee open. So this is a balancing posture, but it's also a hip opener. That's why we always talk about keeping the knee back. Kristen does this thing because she wants you to feel that hip, right? So we have the lower body and the balancing. That's how high you bring your foot. And then you have your center of gravity, which is your hands, prayer position, hands on the waist hands out, branches, all that kind of stuff. So if you wanna play with balance because you're not you know, at the top level of balance, maybe you just leave your hands on your hip. If you wanna play with your arms and see what that extension is like, maybe you go to the very first kickstand position. So play around, find the spot that works for you. It's never on the knee, it's above or below the knee or your kickstand. And then slowly grow your branches. So when you're at the microwave heating up that last cup of coffee, you can be doing this, you know, 30 seconds. Smile. So let's all bring our hands to our heart. We're gonna cross that foot over, curl your toes under. So your shins are happy with one another. Knees open, remember, right? And you're gonna take your left hand down. There you go, fingers to the center, right hand up and tip off. Looking down at that knee, Krishna. Long stretch on the left side, your right side. You got it and release, other side. Planting that left foot. Imagine that big tree root going all the way down into the earth here. Opening your hip, find that level that you like. That arch in your foot goes great on the calf. If you go up to your calf, just snuggles right in there. Try to go above or below the knee. You don't want your knee going that way. It doesn't quite work that way. The bent knee is opened back. Find your balance. If you find a dristy point, a dristy point is a focal point in front of you that's six, eight feet in front of you that doesn't move, something that's not moving, hopefully. And just turn inward. And when you're ready, hands at the heart, slide that foot in front of the shin, toes turned under, shins are nice and tight to one another, right hand down, left hand up, look down at your knee, strong standing leg. You got it and release. Let's spread our legs and come down into a squat. Elbows inside the knees, hands in prayer position. If your heels aren't down, that's no problem. You might try to spread your feet a little wider. That might get you there. Can you put your left hand to the earth? Right hand up to the sky. Right hand down, left hand to the sky. Left hand down. So we'll come into Ukasana, crow. If you do crow or if you wanna just do the beginning of crow, we'll try and get our knees into our armpits and just come forward. If this is where you are and that's all you've got, that's great. Or you can take one foot off the earth and see what a tripod crow feels like. Put that foot down, the other. Hips high is the secret. Hips nice and high. One at a time. 
Grunting is allowed. <laughs> there you go. And when you're ready to come back onto your seat, gently land. Let's lay down on our backs. Extend your legs. You're like, I thought you'd never ask. Let's extend our legs out all the way down on your backs. Let's pull your knees into your chest. One hand on each kneecap. Rock and roll side to side. Loosen that low back. Roll side to side, beautiful. So let's drop our feet on the earth. Arms at your side, palms down. Push your arms into the earth and lift your hips up to bridge. Nice and high. So you're pushing your forearms in the earth as well. Hands and forearms into the earth, beautiful. And we'll roll down from one vertebrae at a time from the neck. See if you can really slowly really truly feel each vertebrae as it touches the earth and then when you get to the low back tilt the pelvis until the low back is on the earth and then release your tail one more time inhale up hips up nice and high bridge can you clasp your hands behind your back walk your shoulders one side to the other really roll those shoulders behind yourself open your chest Beautiful, let's release the hands, spread your shoulder blades and then roll down again, one vertebrae at a time. You got it. All right, here's the Simon Says quiz. So leaving your legs the way they are, drop your right knee off to the side like you have a half butterfly. You got it, so far so good. All right, so don't think too much. So that's your right foot, right? Can you slide your right foot behind your other ankle? That triangle you kind of got? Now take your left hand and grab that foot. Ah, very good. Now the right hand goes straight up above you at the top of the mat. You feel that long on the ground, all the way down on the ground, right hand up above you. So you have from your fingertips to that right knee. Can you push that right knee down to the earth? You feel that big, long stretch. If you're not feeling much, pull on that foot a little bit more. Pull it closer to your butt. There you go. Go ahead and drop that arm above your head right on the earth. Just let it go down. Or if you have a tight shoulder, you can salute. The back of the hand goes on your forehead. Just trying to make it a little bit more relaxing so you can settle into it. All my people at home got the cue. Beautiful. So let's let go of that foot. Bring that right knee up to the sky. Drop your left knee down. Just drop it down to the side, slide that left foot in that little triangle you made. Take your left hand. Oh, am I doing that totally wrong? Your right hand and your left foot. <laughs> you really can't let your brain get in the way when you're all pretzeled up like this. So right hand is grabbing the left foot. Right knee is up to the sky. And then that left hand sweeps up over your head or saluting on your forehead. You got it. Trying to drop that left knee down. It all looks very dramatic from my point up here. Couple more breaths here. And when you're ready to release that foot, 
Bring both knees to the sky, slide your hands down your shins, happy baby. So you've got one hand on each side of the outside of the foot, pull the knees into your armpits. At the same time, try and get your tail down. So you've got this counter thing happening. Knees into the armpits, tail down. You got it, rocking a little bit side to side. Beautiful, let's release the feet, put them on the earth, bent knees and walk your feet wide again. So you feel your pinky toes on the grass like before? Bent knees and now just drop your knees off to the right. Maybe that right foot comes up on the outside of the left knee, arms out like a T. And relax. Final twist. Maybe you turn your chin to the left. Just to get the spine or the cerebral spine involved. And let's release that right foot if it's on the knee. Spread the feet wide again so your big or your little toes are in the grass. Drop off to the other side. Left ankle maybe goes up on that right knee. Turning the chin to the right. And when you're ready, release that left foot. Windshield wiper your knees if you like. When you're ready to extend your legs straight out and flat and full of Shivasana, go right ahead. So your legs are extended out, hands at your side, palms up. Lift your left foot just inches off the earth, point your toes, engage your thigh, engage your knees, Point, 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 and release. Other leg, just inches off the earth. Point, engage the thigh, the kneecap, stretch, 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 and release. Left arm off the earth, make a fist, straighten your arm. Now extend your fingers nice and big. Left arm is nice and strong, and release. Right arm, lift it off the earth, make a fist. Extend your fingers, big, big, and release. And go ahead and settle into your Shavasana. Forehead is relaxed, cheeks are soft, eyelids are soft. Lips might be slightly parted. Throat is soft, chest is soft and open. The abdomen is soft, all the organs go back to their natural positions. Thighs and legs are soft. And think about that energy color that we had at the beginning of class, that exercise, that visualization. Remember what color you chose? And I'm gonna tell you what chakra that color is related to and the association. So you can see what kind of energy you were channeling today. If you chose red, that's our root chakra, symbolizing energy and stability, comfort, safety. If you chose orange, you were channeling from your sacral chakra, sensuality, sexuality, sociability, pleasure. If you chose yellow, that's your solar plexus. 
strength, personality, power, determination. If you chose green, that was coming from your heart chakra. Acceptance, love, sincerity, and compassion. If you chose blue, that's your throat chakra. Communication, of course, expression, creativity, inspiration. Indigo is related to your third eye, the forehead. Intuition, meditation, trust. And if you chose violet, that's your crown chakra where it began, representing knowledge, consciousness, fulfillment, and spirituality. So thinking about what you were bringing to your own practice today and how that benefited you. And maybe you carry that through the rest of your day. But slowly start becoming more aware of our breath, rubbing your fingertips and thumbs together, circling your wrists, wiggling your toes, circling your ankles. When you're ready to pull your knees into your chest, be gentle. And let's roll off onto the right side. And when you're ready to push yourself up to a seated posture, how we began class. Sitting up straight with your eyes closed. Begin by thanking yourself for coming to class. Now your advanced practice begins when you take your yoga practice off the mat and into the world to practice your strength and stability and balance, focus. And since we live in the desert and since we have an outdoor practice today, we have such an abundance of sun. I'll leave you with this. After all these years, the sun never said to the earth, you owe me. Imagine what you can do with a love like that. You can light up the whole sky. Let's inhale our hands up above our head, hands in prayer position. Bringing the hands to your forehead, may you always know your truth. Hands to your throat, may you always speak your truth. Hands to your heart, may you always live your truth. Have a wonderful day, namaste. Thank you, everybody. I guess we're a shade crowd from now on, huh? It's, be it's becoming that. <laughs> Hydrate. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, you're very welcome, everybody at home. Have a great day. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Namaste. Good to see everyone. Bye-bye.